wah 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 Francis Siaw ha Singapore's dissident ha and an American spy leh hayya ok 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 Mr. Francis Siaw a former solicitor general has, has become an opposition politician and then a fugitive from justice has died on 22nd January 2016 in Boston at the age of 88 ok 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 there are 6 reasons ha, to confirm that Francis Siaw was an American spy Number one, a fugitive from justice, tax evasion, promise but never return. Number two, associated with American diplomat Hank Hendrickson. Number three, suddenly became a political dissident. Number four, fled Singapore with the help of Amnesty International. Number five, got asylum in the USA, Boston. Number six, openly asked CIA for compensation and payment. <laughs> okay, I am a an American agent, and so. They mounted an exercise on me, and here am I, you know, uh, like a bloody fool, actually. I should have known better. I've been in this game, as it were, as Solicitor General, and I knew what has been happening to all these people. Huh? But I didn't take it very seriously, you know. I was, I, was, I was telling myself, you know, I was rather insouciant about it all. I said, well, he can't really think that I, I that I'm a communist, he, that I am a Marxist, that I'm a Euro Marxist. You know, uh, I'm all a fellow traveler. So, what can he label me with? How stupid of me, really? When I look back on it, that he chose that I'm a CIA agent, that I'm an American agent, American government agent. This is all on, on record, you know. Oh, and it's, it was, they, they had to explain my arrest in Parliament. And this is the, the cock and bull story that he and his son came out with. That I was an America, a CIA agent, that I was paid vast sums of money. So up to this day, and I'd like to take this opportunity once again to announce to the world, especially to the CIA, that I have not yet been paid by them. All right? So maybe this will reach the ears of the CIA. At least I have spent time uh, in jail for being their agent and for which I'm still to be, yet to be paid. So maybe this uh, this meeting is quite good. This interview will be very good for me. That the CIA will will eventually reach the their ears, and that they, uh, they will pay me the sums that the Singapore government said that they had promised me. Hey, hello, friend. We come to the end already. Have you subscribed yet? Yeah, press the subscribe button. Yeah, and then the like button and then the share button. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Have a nice day.